Sir, you are a member of parliament. Maintenance of law and order and the protection of lives and property falls under the domain of the Ghana Police Service. Could exactly. Could the Ghana Police so. Service not have done this? Come again. I'm saying that mm. the Ghana Police Service, could mm. they not have done this? They could have done this. They criminals. have the capacity and capability to do this. But you know, this is not the first time uh something happens i mean something of this nature happening and you see the military especially when you touch their their policies you touch one you touch all when you touch one then they will descend on you this is not the first time but what happened yesterday or the killing of this soldier it 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 lies i mean the ghana police has the mandate to investigate and arrest anybody mm. and bring the perpetrators to book not the military and those are the areas we disagree with them with because but, but, but they are, are trained here you are telling us that you you are okay with the fact that the military who should have resorted to the police to effect mm. arrests were the mm -hmm. ones who went to arrest the individuals no that is what i'm saying that i do not have any problem with address of any individual any individual whoever arrest the person you know even civilians can even arrest individual and, and send it to the police isn't Indeed. it Indeed. Anybody, anybody, any, I mean, uh, 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 institution, any, uh, any human being can arrest any individual, any criminal and hand over same person to the police. I don't have problem with it. The military can still arrest these people and hand them over to the police, which I don't have any problem with. And that is exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that what I'm, I'm, I'm not comfortable is the, 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 the way and manner they entered into the community to molest even innocent people police wouldn't have done that in any case the modus operandi would be different that is what i am against but the arrest i i don't have problem with it the the molestations and brutalities that you speak about that you are against the statement from the ghana armed forces suggests that's not the reason why they went there do you believe them i i, I don't believe them at all if that is not you you act on intelligence mm. and when you are acting on intelligence then you have to know your target area you have to know what you are going, what you are doing, but you don't just see people on the street and begin to beat them without questioning them. People, uh, I mean, traveling from one place to another, you stop the car, you ask them to alight from the car, you beat them. You, I mean, you go and knock people's door, ask them to come out from the door. Then what kind of intelligence are you uh, acting upon? And so I, I disagree with them on that manner. Otherwise, they wouldn't have sent like, a whole barrage of military guys into the community. So I disagree with them on that one.